Today we're gonna to try Hatch Kitchen's chicken and cheese quesadillas. Frozen quesadillas, eight pack here. Quite expensive, I must be honest. I think it was, and let me look right here. I have it right here at Walmart. I picked these up, $8.12 for eight quesadillas. So it comes out to a dollar quesadilla, maybe not too bad, but they don't have a smaller package. They just have the big old package of uh, white meat chicken, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese, and a freshly baked tortilla. And it comes from Hatch Kitchen. Now their name always confuses me, Hatch Kitchen slash 505 Southwestern, because they're called Hatch Kitchen, but I don't think all of their stuff actually has Hatch green chilies in it, but I could be wrong. Let me look on the side here. We have chicken, white meat, Monterey Jack cheese, tomatillo salsa, which does have green chili peppers in it, but not Hatch chili peppers cheddar cheese and bleached wheat flour for the tortilla and a bunch of other stuff but no it does not have hatch green chilies in it it has regular green chilies and the tomatillo salsa but otherwise that's just the name of the place so if anybody else is confused you're probably not because i'm just stupid but hatch kitchen does not necessarily mean hatch green chilies now i've already opened up this box because i wanted to see what it looked like but um let me open it up and show you what one quesadilla is like and it's a pretty simple package just a little bit in plastic it's pretty heavy i'll give them that it's pretty hefty 32 ounces in here so that makes them what four ounces each yes four ounces each so these are not too bad of a meal uh two of them would be pretty much a dinner or whatever but one of them is a good snack and that's what i'm gonna try and there's a ver there's various instructions on here we have skillet which is suggested um conventional oven microwave frozen and microwave thawed um and I'm going to, in fact, do skillet. And now normally I would do microwave. Uh, that would be the way to go because I assume most people would microwave these. But when they put suggested, when they say skillet suggested and it's number one, um, I'm going to take their word for it. I'm going to take their word that the skillet is the way to go. And it's pretty much, looking at the instructions, which I read earlier, it's pretty much the same thing as microwaving it, except you microwave it and then you put it in a skillet, basically. Uh... See, you just thaw quesadilla, so it has to be thawed. So I'm going to have to microwave thaw this. Remove from wrapper. Place on a pan over low heat. Um, place quesadilla over a small amount of oil or butter for two to three minutes each side. So you just thaw this out and put it in a skillet with some butter and flip it over, and that's it. It's not really a you know intense cooking method. Um, if you're microwaving from frozen, then you're going to have to cut open the end of wrapper and leave quesadilla in wrapper cook on high setting for approximately 45 to 55 seconds on each side and then allow to cool before serving and if it's thawed it only takes 25 to 30 seconds on each side so i'm going to go i'm going to use the the uh defrost method of my uh microwave to get it to thawed state and then i will skillet cook it and show you what it looks like um because i think that i can tell you i could tell you what the inside is going to taste like without um the microwave method the skillet cooking is just going to really make the tortilla a lot better um but the inside uh filling is going to be the same so i feel like it's a fair review method and since they suggested it i'll take their word for it so anybody out there <laughs> making frozen foods make sure you put suggested next to what you think is the right way because that's what i'll go with and if you don't have a suggested then i'm going to go with microwave so let's do this uh hatch chicken quesadilla and i'll be back with the finished product all right, here's my quesadilla, fresh off of the uh, old pan. Um, not old pan, actually, it's a really nice pan. It's uh, one of those like rock graniteware ones. Anyways, nice pan. I, I suggest those graniteware ones are really good. But here it is, it's nice and crispy, and I'll, we'll open it up and show you the beautiful inside. There, there you go. Doesn't that look scrumptious? That looks just like chicken and cheese, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks great. Um, of course i'm being sarcastic looks a little odd but it does smell decent it smells good but the chicken doesn't really seem to exist it's like little strands of chicken um and little dots of cheese and it's like a weird sauce um unless they just ground their chicken in, into sauce it definitely doesn't look like this it doesn't have little pieces of chicken which is very weird um i guess that kind of explains the <coughs> cheapness of it I was going to say, I forgot to mention in the first part, that um, I used to buy frozen quesadillas from Walmart all the time, and they were um, El Monterey brand, and I really liked those, and those had pieces of chicken. Those were great. I don't know what happened to them. They just don't have them at my Walmart, or they, they stopped making them. I don't know. 
but I used to get these El Monterey ones all the time and they were really good. So if you see those, definitely try them out. I know the ring light's screwing it up, but if you see El Monterey quesadillas, those are for sure good. We'll try these and see, but the middle is a little bit discouraging um, to say the least. So I'm gonna break this one in half, take a bite from the middle just to make it fair. <clears throat> Here we go. Ow. Well, even though it looks vaguely disgusting, and it kind of is, um, I have to admit, it's not too bad. I've eaten most of it. I, I, I kind of enjoy it, um, but in a way where I know it's horrible, um, and I, I'm used to it, and it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like childhood. It's like one of those horrible frozen foods that you just get used to eating, so you keep eating it, like banquet meals and stuff. And it has that, I don't know why it kind of has a nostalgic taste for me, even though I've never had these. Um, but there's something about the mush that I kind of like <laughs> in terms of taste. Now, it's not spicy. It says it has that tomatillo salsa in it. Not spicy at all. It is pretty cheesy. That's the overwhelming taste of cheese. And chicken, the chicken flavor is there, despite the fact that the chicken doesn't seem to exist. It seems like they just kind of like blended the chicken or something. I don't know what happened. It's like they blended the chicken and the cheese into one mushy paste and then injected it into the quesadillas. And as I said, it is it is kind of disgusting, but the taste is not too bad. It, it, it's decent. And the, the, tor the tortilla is also decent, although it's, it's pretty much flavorless, but cooked in the butter on the pan um, definitely added a lot to that. So if you're microwaving these, you're pretty much gonna get a tasteless tortilla, I believe, um, with the mush in the middle. But if you're doing it on the grill, um, on the oven, stove, whatever, and you're cooking it in some butter, then you're going to get a nice buttery taste on your tortillas, which definitely helps. Um, but even though the taste is, the taste is, again, decent, it's not spectacular. I feel like these are good enough if you're in need of, like, a quick snack or something and you just want to microwave them. Or you can even do them, like I said, on the, on the stove in, like, five minutes. You just put it on one side and the other for a couple of minutes till it's brown no big deal. Um, so it's fast, but it's just hard to kind of get past the mushy nature of it. And as I, and the taste, you know, I keep going back to it. As I say, it's decent. It's not good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it good. I would call it passable for what it is. Like, I feel like for a dollar a quesadilla, I guess I'm okay with this. Um, but that's the level I'm at is okay. I'm okay. I'm in the middle. I'm mediocre on this. Um, I would not buy it again, though. I'll say that. I'm not going to buy this package of quesadillas again. Um, I don't really like them that much, but I will go through them eventually because they are, I think, an okay quick snack. But other than that, they're just not going to hang. So hmm. I'll give them a three out of five. I think that's where they belong, right in the middle. Um, these are okay if you want a quick quesadilla, but really a quesadilla is something you can do quickly on your own anyway. Just get some, you know, just get some tortillas and get some cheese. It's very easy. Put some butter in the pan, put the tortilla in there, put some cheese in there. And then if you really want chicken, you can buy like pre-cooked chicken um, in the grocery aisle. They have bags of pre-cooked chicken, or you can buy like a rotisserie chicken, which I've done before and make really good quesadillas out of a rotisserie chicken if you're wanting it for like a dinner or something. But if you want to have them, you know, as a quick snack, you can just buy a stack of tortillas, buy some cheese, buy some of that pre-cooked refrigerated chicken, and you can keep that in the fridge for a couple weeks, make your own quesadillas, and it will probably be, ch you know, I wouldn't say it would be cheaper. It'd probably be, you know, a slightly more expensive or around the same price uh, to get all that stuff, um, but it'll be 100% better quality uh, than these, so... Yeah, three out of five if you're really super lazy and just want the something frozen to eat really quick. These are decent, even though they look bad. They're they're okay, but I can't go any further than that. So that is Hatch Kitchen's Chicken and Cheese Quesadillas. I wouldn't really suggest it unless you are too lazy to make your own quesadilla, which is even a level I'm not to. Um, but I would suggest the El Monterey ones if they're in your freezer section. Check those out because those are actually really good. And with that, I will see you all next time.